we understood that when you are not getting the airflow that you need, it'll affect your sleep, your mood, your ability to concentrate, your mental health. This is what um, inspired us to explore the possibility that she might need surgery. It wasn't to correct or to make her nose perfect. We felt like she had a perfect nose already. It was internally to repair damage that we didn't even know had been done, but we also wanted the end results to be beautiful. My name is Sharman Grimmer and my daughter Grace is a patient of Dr. Fairbanks. She was referred to Dr. Fairbanks by a co-worker at the Brain Rehab Clinic. We were so excited when we had the consultation with Dr. Fairbanks. He truly educated us on what was happening for Grace internally in, in her nose with her deviated septum and how that was impacting her breathing. We sought out Dr. Fairbanks because we knew not only of his expertise on this exact surgery for her deviated septum, but we also were concerned about my daughter breathing more freely, but we also wanted the end results to be beautiful. As he diagrammed this, it was very understandable and this was um, a good education for us and other doctors who we had done consultations with did not give us that same level of comfort and that same education. So we tell Dr. Fairbanks he's a great artist and we love his drawings. We also know that Dr. Fairbanks teaches at the University of Utah Medical School and teaches this very procedure. That bolstered our confidence in him. On the day of my daughter's surgery, it went much longer than Dr. Fairbanks had anticipated. He sent a nurse out frequently to give me updates, and then he himself sat with me for a good while after the surgery to explain that things were actually much worse than they had anticipated. The cartilage had been shoved up into her nose when she had broken her nose at, at a younger age, and we didn't even know she had broken her nose. So we didn't even understand and know the full extent of the damage. So he was really good to explain that to us and to take the most fastidious, careful care of her. Then afterwards, when she was healing, he and his team took such great care of her, even keeping her longer in the surgical center, just to make sure that everything was healing and progressing the way it needed to. My husband, daughter, and I read a book entitled Breath by James Nestor. And in that book, it talked about the importance of breathing and airflow and gave us the history of why breathing is such a concern these days with certain orthodontic procedures and some of our lifestyle patterns. And so this was very intriguing to us. When we realized that our daughter truly was having such a hard time getting the airflow that she needed, this is what inspired us to explore the possibility that she might need surgery. The other thing we learned from Dr. Fairbanks is that our daughter had a birth defect that we never would have detected. The cartilage had not fully formed to the tip of her nose, which caused her to have little micro nostrils, just the tiniest nostrils, which on a little girl is so cute. <laughs> but on a grown adult, you can't get enough oxygen. And so Dr. Fairbanks educated us and showed us why this was and how he could help improve this by building out the cartilage and helping that attach. As we did a lot of research about breath, we understood that when you are not getting the airflow that you need, it'll affect your sleep, your mood, your ability to concentrate, your mental health. And these were all concerns that my daughter and, and that we as her parents had for her. After Grace's surgery, Dr. Fairbanks sat down with me and he said, you may notice as Grace is healing that she has a little bit of a personality shift. And that is exactly what we noticed. She increased in patience. She wasn't as sharp or curt. 
in certain situations that normally she would have been. Her grandparents came over for dinner and they made a comment and asked, wow, um, Grace is in such a happy, positive mood. And we explained, she's breathing. It's so exciting. She's getting that airflow that she needs and it truly has affected her life as a college student, her ability to sleep, and really has brought up her moods. We also, a few months later, were talking with our son-in-law and our son-in-law has had a hard time breathing, especially when he sleeps, but he seems to always be congested. And uh, we recommended that he go to an ENT and get this checked out. We didn't know if he was having any internal issues. Came to find out that it was not just allergies, which is what the first ENT told us, we sent him to Dr. Fairbanks and Dr. Fairbanks discovered that our son-in-law was completely 100% occluded on one side, which meant he was not getting any airflow in one side. And on the other side, he was 45% occluded, which meant he was not getting enough oxygen at all. And so we were able to set up his surgery to have this repaired. So we're looking forward to helping our son-in-law breathe more easily. Myself, my husband, my daughter, and my son-in-law, we would all recommend Dr. Fairbanks. He is an incredible plastic surgeon.